Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Chowdhury. I am CEO and founder of Learnomate Technologies. This is a clip from my paid class and I hope you will find this very very useful. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush and in our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the PostgreSQL backup. So in the last lecture, we have seen how we can take the backup of your PostgreSQL. So we know that if I want to take the backup of PostgreSQL, we can take the backup in plain text format, which is your SQL format. It will just create a SQL file. You can take the backup by using the custom format. You can take the backup by using directory format also, right? So this is what we have discussed in the last lecture. In last lecture, we have seen how to take the backup and restoration. If you have not seen those video, please go back and check this video. In today's lecture, we'll try to understand about how you can take the backup of your PostgreSQL with the help of this custom format. So what is custom format? You might have a question you want to understand. No worries. I am going to explain you about it. See, um, the custom format is mainly useful when you want to restore specific tables. Just take an example. I have a backup of uh, a database. But I don't want to restore a complete database. I want to restore some specific table. So I have a backup of complete database which contain the backup of a lot of tables, right? But I don't want to restore everything. I want to restore some specific table. This is possible with the help of your custom format. But it was not possible in the plain text format also. So one thing is selective restoration is possible. What I What is important? Selective restoration is possible. Second thing is, if you want to do the restoration parallelly, remember, I'm talking about a restoration. If you want to do the restoration parallelly, that is possible with the help of custom format. Backup, it is not possible. If you want to take the parallel backup, you need to go with the directory level format. But if you want to do the parallel restoration, you can go with the custom format. Why we are going with the parallel format? Because parallel is something, you know, it will increase the performance of your restoration. So your restoration will be happening very, very fastly. That is the reason we are using this custom format. Third important thing is about the storage. Since it is, since it is doing the compression, that is the reason the storage, it is required very, very less. When you take the backup, let's say you are taking the backup of your table, it is going to definitely take some size, right? So if it is taking 100 GB, I'm just assuming, this will take 50 GB only. Why? Why it is taking 50 GB? Because the compression. So compression is happening when you use the custom format. Another important thing is the restoration is very, very fastly. If I compare it with the other backup restoration, this restoration is very, very fastly. So let me show you this thing practically, then you'll understand very, very better. So in order to make you understand what I did, I created, so I have a database, like I'm using a Postgres as a database only. In this Postgres database, I have a student table. So I'm going to take the backup of the student table. But when I'm taking a backup, I'll use custom format. And then I will drop this table. And finally, since I have a backup available, this backup I'm going to restore. Okay, so this custom format backup I'm going to restore. I'll show you this practically. So let us see my screen. So I'm just connecting to the P SQL utility. So if I just go here, select star from student. Uh, I have a lot of records are there. Around 1000 records are available. Okay, now what I will do if I want to take the backup. So this is a custom format backup. Oh, PG dump is a utility which is going to take a backup. I'm going to take the backup on node one. So this is not required because I'm using localhost. So this backup will be taken with the help of your user called Postgres. Uh, I'm going to take the backup of my database with the name MyDB. Under this MyDB, there is a database called student is there. There is a table called student is there. This is very important. Hyphen FC means the format which I'm using here right now. It is custom format. Hyphen F on which location you are going to take a backup. So this is a location where the backup will happening. Now what I will do, I'll just use this utility. I'll connect here. Done. So if I do, oh, I think I use the wrong way. Let me clear that. You need to go to the server level and then let's run it. 
okay no my database name is not my db what is this database name my database name is postgres done if i do ls upon lrt you can see here the backup has been completed and this is in custom format now if i got connected to the p sql utility and if i say drop database sorry drop table what is the table name student table the table is gone now let me do one thing since i have a backup available i am going to restore that and if you want to restore again you need to use pg underscore restore is the utility which is going to restore on the host node one this will be done with the help of postgres i want to restore it under which database the database name is postgres which table you want to restore student and where is the backup available in this location my backup is available so i'll simply call it and then let me run that done if i connect to the p sql can i see that table back select star from student i should be able to see that done so this table i dropped earlier so you can see like you know how it is simple if you want to take the backup in the custom format you understand what is the importance if i'm taking a backup in the custom format again this is very simple if you want to take the custom format backup you need to use pg underscore what is that okay so i need to change the color so what is this name pg underscore dump you need to use hyphen f what is the format c is the format then you need to specify what is your backup file name and all and if you want to restore it you need to use pg underscore restore and that's it if you want to run this backup if you want to do this restoration parallelly you can mention hyphen j and the number of processes which are going to take it parallelly so you can mention like that in the next lecture we'll try to understand how you can take the backup in the directory format but for that you need to subscribe and share this channel with everyone and if you are looking for postgres sql db training please reach out to the learnomate team you can follow us on our linkedin instagram and if you are looking for next video please mention comment please mention as interested in the comment section again we are starting a new postgres sql training reach out to the learnomate teams the numbers are available here again you can follow me on linkedin and instagram also thanks i hope you guys have learned something valuable from this video please do like subscribe and share this channel you can also contact us for the paid training you can also comment interested if you want the more video like this